Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how I set the Foscam C2. This is the 1080p indoor wireless IP camera. So this option is for folks that don't want to use the Foscam apps or Foscam website. First thing I'm gonna do is plug in a power to the unit using the micro USB cable that came with it. Next, I'm also gonna plug in the network cable. So for the network cable, just make sure you push it into the network port all the way. You hear a click. It'll take about 30 seconds or so for the unit to power up. And once it's powered up, you hear voice prompts. And I'll be demonstrating this on a Windows 10 computer. The process is nearly identical for Windows 7, same for Mac OS X. Hello, Foscam. All right, mine just finished booting. Wired to connection succeeded. And it just get, grabbed the IP information. So once it did that, the LED on the back of it is now green. So on my computer, I do not have a CD drive. That's fine. You can always download tools directly from the Foscam website. So I'm going to download it from the Foscam.us website and we head to the support section, go to tools and apps. Here I'm going to scroll to where it says CD installation software. Since I'm on Windows, I'll download this one, the search tool. If you're on a Mac, you can just use the Mac search tool. So first I'm going to download the Windows one, view my downloads, open that folder. So it's right here. What I'm going to do is extract it. So you can just use your own extraction tool, whichever makes you comfortable. I'm going to head into this folder. You can take a look at the readme file. So I'm using the, this version 1.0.0.5. I'm just going to launch the search tool. So just double click on that. The uh, firewall has blocked it. I'm going to say allow access. All right, so it lists all the other contents, all the other IP cameras on this network. And what I'm after is C2. So I'm just double click on this unit. It automatically launch this, this IP address on upper top side, 192.168.1.9 is what it searched. Keep in mind, currently I did not have it set to static IP address. So the router assigned the IP to this unit. And let me close this here. So I have not installed Foscam on this computer before, nor have I used it with this Microsoft Edge. So it saw that there's no plugins detected. So if I were to try login right now, nothing will happen because I can't view it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is click here, just click me to download. Let's download the plugin. Let's go to, here it is, IPC web components. So I'm gonna launch this, just double click on it. Yes. Next, As it will install into the 32-bit folder, IPC web components. Okay, install. All right, finish setup. And close this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the edge. I'm gonna launch the search tool again. And pick, double click on the C2. So keep in mind that right now I'm using edge. And right now, I don't think Foscam has updated a plugin to work with Edge yet. So that's fine. I'm just going to click on this dot, 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 more actions on upper right. Then I'm going to say open an Internet Explorer. And on the bottom, is going to say, make sure, um, do I want to have this plugin run? Say yes, allow. Let's reload the page. All right. Next, the password. The default password is blank. So the default user ID name is admin. So I'm going to leave that alone. Click login. So since this is the first time I'm logging in, it's also going to prompt me to change my username and password for security reasons. All right, my username will be M modify. Change username and password successfully. Now log in with my new stuff. Log in. All right, so there's a setup wizard. You can use that if you want. Or if you want to start viewing it, you can just click on live video. Hi. The next thing I want to do is add the wireless information to this camera. So I'm going to head to settings. I'm going to go to network, then wireless settings. Here I'm going to hit scan. It's going to scan for all the wireless networks near this unit. Then I'm going to just pick the one that pertains to me. I'm going to say this one, put in my password, and hit save. Now you can unplug the power to the unit, unplug the network cable, then plug the power back in 
and it will grab the another IP address from the router through its wireless connection. Some other things I like to point out is under basic network settings. So here I can choose user accounts. And let's say you want to create accounts for other folks, visitors, administrators, grandparents. You can just create them all here. If your network can't handle the 1080p, you can always change it down to 720. Or if it's 1080 at 4 megabits, maybe that's too much. You can also say 1080 at 1 megabit, for example. If you have your own network video recorder, such as the Synology or QNAB, and you're going to want to go to network IP configuration, then just uncheck the box right here and assign your own IP address. And that way you can always provide something consistent for your surveillance station to use. Thank you for watching this video on how to set up the Foscam C2 1080p wireless IP camera on your local network. So this option is for folks that don't want to use the Foscam apps or Foscam website. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Hamster. Bye.